for now who is going to bring us uh, a little word about the work that he is leading. Uh, Rob is on the ground helping food insecure neighbor neighbors, especially children right here in Halifax who don't always know uh, where their next meal will come from. And Rob is there in many cases to help provide that meal through the ministry that he founded in Leeds. Uh, just a note that we're about a week away from the opening of our annual Harvest online auction. Some of the items are in the back. There's also sheets filled with information about all the, the cakes and jams and, and uh, foods that you might have somebody in the congregation cook and deliver to you or experiences like uh, boat tours around uh, the Halifax Harbor. But remember, all of the money from all of these things and experiences will be going straight to uh, Rob Pattison's ministry uh, to help feed neighbors. So Rob, we're looking forward to hearing a bit more about the work that you were doing. Good morning. It's terribly it's been a year already since I've been here. Uh, most of you, I think, are familiar with us. Anybody who's not, uh, just in a nutshell, Bread of Life Ministries Street Connection is something that my wife and I started back in 1992. We felt called, God calling us to uh, put our Christianity into practice and go out and start helping people as the Bible tells us to do. So we stepped out in faith, left our jobs, and, and uh, have trusted God for 30 years now for his provision to do what we've been doing, and he's been faithful, and uh, to this very day, we have what we need. We basically have a mobile soup kitchen. It's a bus converted into a, a soup kitchen. We go to four areas of the city. We go to uh, uh, Spryfield on Monday evenings, Bears Westwood Tuesday, Mulgrave Park Wednesday, and Greystone Drive in Spryfield on Thursday as well. And uh, we go there at 7 o'clock each evening. And it's mostly families, single mothers, um, children. Um, we have a lot of immigrant families now. Um, it's making up a good uh, large portion of those that we serve and uh, they all tend to have large families which again kind of uh, increases the uh, the challenge of trying to provide for all these people. Uh, we hand out bread, uh, we do about 300 or so loaves a week of bread, fresh bread we buy and uh, we have on the side of the bus we serve things like juice, uh, sandwiches, bagels, bananas, yogurt, cheese strings, homemade soup, and again, we give the bread out the back. So uh, that's what we do in a nutshell. Again, it's been very challenging lately, as you can all appreciate, as you look at the drive-by a gas station, look at the price of fuel, and our bus is diesel, and diesel in, in itself has gone up, as you can see, by close to 50 cents over the last week which makes a huge difference in our, our, uh, our costs. Our bread costs almost doubled overnight as well as the fuel. So uh, the challenge has, has definitely increased. Um, and again, with larger families, we're seeing an increase each week of people that are coming to the bus, a lot of new faces. We have some people, I have some people come to the bus who used to be little children, now are bringing children. And uh, so we've been, again, at this for a long time. Um, but we are seeing... Uh, new faces as people face the challenge um, of increased costs of everything right now and obviously people that are on low income um, they feel that even harder than than other people do so again we appreciate what you've done over the years i think this i believe this is the fifth time we've we've uh, been involved with your online auction and uh, i guess it was in person one time but the last few years has been online and uh, it makes a big difference all our donations come from mostly from individuals. Uh, we have some support from foundations, some churches. Uh, we don't receive government support whatsoever. So whatever you do, it makes a huge difference in uh, helping us to do what we do each week. We continue to trust God, like I say. He's provided all these years, and we're more than confident that he will continue to provide, no matter how tough things might get in the future. We know as long as he wants us to keep doing this, as long as he gives me the health to keep doing this after all these years, um, we'll continue on. But again, we thank you for what you've done over the years to help us and uh, just hope that again this year you'll be able to help us once again to uh, raise funds to, to do what we do. Thank you very much. <laughs> 